Okay, so, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bacchus Imperatus, but you can just call me Bacchus, and according to the name of the title, I suppose you are here because you would like to know how to reach Morg, Lord of Blood, and Morgwin Palace, which is his area. Yeah, so... Before we begin, I would like to just uh, say that this is the very first video where I'm talking, so consider this, and if I make any spelling mistake or anything else, uh, please don't eat me in the comments. So, the quest line to reach the Morgwin Palace, and Morg, Lord of Blood. It's actually through this NPC in Limgrave, right at the start of the game. After you leave the Temple of Anticipation. So, he, the white-faced Vare, will be the very first NPC you speak at the beginning of the game. And... <clears throat> When you start, just exhaust this dialogue and you sh and normally progress through the game. Until you defeat the Godric the Grafted. Uh, after you defeat Godric, goes around Table Hold and uh, which, well, after you defeat the boss and visit the round table hold for the first time, white-faced Vare will actually move to another location. Here you can see what he says. Um, uh, pretty much he just tells you where he's moving to. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, just as I said, you can normally progress through the game and he actually moves to over here, which is, as you can see, a rose church. So, uh, for me, this is the closest um, site of grace. Uh, so, give me a moment to reach, reach him. Just, uh, just a second. Yeah, I am going in opposite direction. Is this the right direction? Yeah, it is. So, uh, there are a few things you should know. Um, the Morgwin Palace is actually end game location. That means uh, you are not required to fight anything there. You can, it's up to you, you will get a lot of souls, but at what price, because the enemies there are quite hard. And as you can see, he moves to over here. Anyway, before we talk to him, you can actually go inside here, and there the enemy will spawn from the ground. As you can see, we can just backstab him, or well, you pretty much you don't even need to kill him. But, uh, when you first kill him, I believe he drops Blood Rose, but otherwise you are not re required to kill him. Anyway, back to the White Face Vara. Um, when you first arrive here, he will talk to you something about two fingers. You will agree with the first option, which should be that... Uh, there is something off with the two fingers, which will continue uh, with the conversa conversation. After that, he will give you five of these, uh, pardon me, five of these festering bloody fingers. Um, so that means after you invade three times somewhere, you don't even have to win, you just need to invade consume the finger and if you win and kill the host 
good for you. If not, nothing happens. Do this three times and you can come back. That's... We come in. That's where I am currently at in his questline. Oh, Lampkin. So pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my... Yeah, this confirms that we have used three of those fingers. The very start. You have a taste for... <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee, a knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood. Yes. And establish a new dynasty. So, what do you say? Of course, you will choose anoint me. Take this. For your final trial, soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden, but since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. Yes, exactly. So there are few maidens in the game, but actually there is much peaceful way to resolve this. And um, solution is in here, the four belfries. So we just teleport there or travel by the horse doesn't matter it's quite fast to get there uh, one thing you should know is that you will need pardon me you will need uh, a specific item which is imbued sword key and um, where you get it just check the wiki and it will tell you where you can get it. I can't recall where exactly you get it. Oh, yeah, if you are here for the first time, you can just grab this item. Yeah, and there, there you have the answer. <laughs> okay, so anyway, you want to go down here to the, well, let's say this is the third or second Belfry. There will be the usual statue where you can insert the stone sword. Okay, and this will actually lead you to the very start of the game, which is, uh, yeah, over here. Uh, this is the place where you find grafted scion. So, just hop inside. And let's wait. Depending on where you are at the game, it will decide how easy or hard this <laughs> refight will be. But anyway, since I killed him at the beginning of the game, there is no one here. But that doesn't matter. In the Temple of Anticipation, there should actually be a maiden. A dead maiden, actually. So, just go back to the very start of the game. And there, you will have the maiden. So, yeah, you just died the cloth with maiden's blood tada you have lord of blood's favor and if i'm not wrong you can actually also yeah this is normally blocked and you cannot open it but i believe upon returning here this should be open if it's not probably it's related to something i'm not aware of so there will be another key item and inside it should be over here there is spirit that you can summon which I don't know if it's good or bad but I believe pretty much any spirit can be somehow useful so that's all there is to it you can of course or, sorry you must defeat the boss if you want to reach um, these items 
and upon obtaining these items you want to yeah uh, you want to return to white faced vara which of course will take take a moment because there is probably no sight of grace near him Oh, and I forgot to add that you can actually get um, those invasions even in offline mode through, uh, what was it called, the Volcano Manor questline. You will invade, oh my god, you will invade a few NPCs and the result will be same. You will just reach it later on in the game in the game. Which is not much of a problem. So uh, it will take just a moment. And yep. Hello. Completed your and with this, you are a formal inductee. Yeah. A now, give this noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Yeah. So you offer him a finger. It's a uh, well, slightly disturbing. Heavens, clench your teeth or something. Yeah, you will get this bloody finger, which never forget that feeling of yeah. agony. Yeah. Let's for it is wait for him to you to luminary mode to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweet. So, oh, you want to, yeah, thing. you want to you talk to him again? This. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty with the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog. I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. Well, thank you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure. Yeah, he tells you not to use it, but you can actually just go on and use it. Which uh, is reusable item, yeah, here, and it will teleport you to a new area. And if you are wondering what area it is, actually, it's this area over here. Uh, if you remember fighting and lighting these uh, pillars down. At Siofra. You can uh, remember that there, somewhere over here, is a similar. How should I say this? Temple? Similar in design to this, where the corpse of the ancestral spirit is. And that's the area I'm talking about. Anyway. Uh, you can just go on and use the item. Yeah. And it will teleport you to the new area. So, this is the place. Uh, first thing first. Um... I don't know all the items here. I will try to walk it through, so this video will take a bit. But first thing you should note it, that there, over there, is an enemy. And the enemy is some kind of a summoner. And when he notices you, he will summon two giant skeletons. Something similar to Walnut for those who play Dark Souls 3, which 
probably most of us did. So, uh, just grab the items you find here. Just don't go far deep. And if I am not wrong, yeah, and as I mentioned, this is endgame location. So, the rooms you will find here are quite juicy. Oh, yeah. And here you can see, this is the palace I was talking about that you can see from all over the, all over this place. This area is not that big, but the enemies here are quite strong from what I have seen. Anyway, um, somewhere over here should be a site of grace. Yeah, here it is. Oh, hi. So, you can just rest here and brace yourself. Anyway, there are two paths that you can take. The first one is this path, which will eventually lead you to Morg. But there is also another area that you can explore. And that's what we are going to focus on. Anyway, also you should know that going in that direction uh, you won't be able to use your horse. But there are a few places where you can actually use your summon, which will be... which will come in hand. Especially if you are a low level. Oh. Ah, pardon. So, this is not something I wanted. If this happens... Hide here, wait for him to shoot its lasers. And, uh, yeah, you can grab this. And... You can try to kill it, and now we are free to explore this area. Because I believe... No, it's not all. Alright. So you can just press on. Kill this guy. Uh oh. That's not something I. Out of it. Yeah, that's uh, not really pleasant. Oh no. Well. Just repeat the same process. Hide over here. Heal if you are hit. Pardon me for unprofessional unprofes gameplay blood. Uh, it's my first time here. I just uh, watched my friend's stream and did what he did. So. He summoned the skeleton again. Or maybe did it disappear? Yeah, it disappeared after its death. Ah, there is a lot of these enemies. Just heal again. Kill him. I hope this is the last one that's over here. Thank you for dying. And yeah, with this, the skeletons should be dead, I believe, if I'm wrong. Nah. And I will wrong. Anyway, 
anyway, just grab this item. Probably must be some another summoner. Otherwise, I can explain why he's still there. And as you can see, Smithing Stone level seven, Golden Rune level twelve, and since there is one specific item that will help you with your special weapons, this area convinced me that it's actually an end game. Uh, so, uh, let me just check... Yeah... Yeah, yeah. This should be it. Hmm. So, carefully take out all these guys. As I said, if you are a low level, you can just look at the items. Oh my god. Alright. Just grab the items you see in the video and ignore the enemies. I'm killing it just so that I know if there is anything that I might have missed. And. Um, there might be things that I will miss, and if I do, please just let me know. I wanted to make a video where I will show you how to reach this area, but what's inside this area is unknown to me. Yeah, be careful with that attack. It will, as you could see, it nearly obliterated my health and... I currently have, yeah, 1500. Uh, can I grab it finally? Oh my god. Oh man, I'm probably dead. And, yeah, you can see Smitting Stone level 8. Yeah, and I died. <sighs> mm, there isn't, no, there isn't an item. If killing all these guys gives you something, as I said, let me know. I do not know. Yeah, and don't forget to pick these, as you can see, it upgrades your special. Summons, or maybe mm, I don't know how those spirits are called. Oh, damn. Wait for them to end their attacks, and we can maybe go back for our runes. If they will allow it. Where did I? Oh. Ah, here we are. Torrent and. Yeah, Heroes Rune. That gives quite a lot of souls. Um, that should be a crafting item. Come here, grab this, grab this. Voila, you have a lot of souls. Oh, damn. No. Oh, God. Yeah, there is, that should be enough. Oh, that's eight. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, no. Yeah, there you have an incantation. Thank you guys for allowing me to grab this. 
And there you have... Oh, yeah. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Ah, excuse me, I'm really stressed here because even I can die here pretty easily. Yeah, there you have Hero Dune 4. And you can continue on with exploring the area. And yeah, there you have it. In this area, you will be invaded by definitely not Vare. But you should look out for these bird monsters. I've seen he invades you a total of three times here. So just carefully take him out. Oh no, this is not really pleasant. doesn't give you much that many souls but uh, it grants you mm, well it allows you to um, explore this area a little bit more but the, that didn't stop him from invading you <coughs> so be careful with the exploration here and watch out for, for those monsters Uh, well, this complicates things. I think I'm going on torrent. And I hope it will allow me to live. There in this place, there is just one simple item that I cannot seem to grab. Yeah. And then you can proceed. Well, we can head in this direction. Smithing stone level 6, golden level 13, and there he goes again. I hope the birds won't see me. And there he is. see me oh yeah and I should also mention that upon killing him the third time oh that's nasty he yeah as I mentioned upon killing him the third time he should uh, drop his armor set Nomadic warrior scooper, another ghost blowbird. Oh, glowbird, pardon me. And there he goes again. But this time, I shall be prepared. Mm 
Oh, hello. I said. Yeah. Definitely not Vare. And with this, you should be free to explore all of this. But as I mentioned, be careful about the enemies here. They are quite brutal. Oh no. Well, I do not wish to fight him anymore. Oh no. And I do not wish to die again. some reason I couldn't beat him but with this you should have I mean like you should but I'm not sure all the items there let us quickly go back I can sound the horn we want to Lot will say. Everywhere the eye could see. Hmm, what to put like this? This is the place I died. Uh, can you? Thank you. And. Well, he's well hidden. This should be all in this direction. Or maybe not. Oh no. Try to... Uh, oh my god. Uh, grab this. It's really worth grabbing it since... A lot of you, I'm sure, are using spirits and... <laughs> well, let's be honest, your mimic spirit... Okay. Your mimic spirit will appreciate this item. And many others. There is a video to... Oh, no. Uh, 
about the spirits. Um, if Mimic is not to your liking, there's also an ancient dragon knight, Kristoff, and um, I made a video how to obtain him, so you can go on and check it out. I saw quite a lot of people that were using him. Anyway, here, these enemies, there are a lot of them. Each of them, I think, drops around 400 something souls. Like, if you have a bleed, you can kill them, but, yeah. You saw they have a lot of HP. So, it's not really that worth. That doesn't stop you from grabbing these items. Ouch. Yeah, this soul actually. I still remember it. It should. No, I think this one gives you 30,000 souls. Oh, sorry, 30,000 moons. You can uh, try to kill this blob in the process. Try not to die. Um, no. I'm going to help myself a little bit. Um, I'm here, my friend. So you can kill it. Or you can just jump around him over here. It should work. So. That should be all here. Yeah. We died there a few times. Ah, so deciding. Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, you can just continue. Now, ah, there was just the stone sword key. As I mentioned before, just ignore these enemies. Of course, if you have strong AoE spells or uh, Ash of War, go on, we are free to kill them, but, um, well, they are quite chunky. And here we are getting to the fun part. You can just go on and use your torch or you can use the lamp. But still, in here, if you remember the guy from the rose church that rose from the ground, they will spawn here as well. But the problem is they are very tanky. Like. Um, well, let's say they uh, can withstand a lot. Yeah, thank you, my dear spirit. I have my mimic. Upgraded to plus 10 already, so they don't pose that much of a threat. Here you have a trader. You can, well, you can, for example, buy these. And, wow. This is quite expensive. Nah. Okay, this is his shop. And that's all you can do here. Well, you offered me the stone swords, which was good enough for me. And there is another guy. Okay, and they draw blood arrows, as I said before. So, my dear spirit, can you come over here? I'm going to buff you with something. Here, take this. Uh, 
and here you have the amazing Lord's Rune which will give you 50,000 souls considering that you just pretty much the worst thing you must or need to do is uh, why okay have fun Well, he's she is enjoying the killing speed quite a lot. Anyway, the shining glow dwarf is actually something you want. It gives you what the hell? It gives you. Oh, you will see what it gives you. Ah, oh, the blood losses. Quite dangerous over here. Ouch. Well, you can press on, grab that, and you can get this Great Ghost Glowford, which will upgrade your spirits to plus 10. And with this. Can we go back, please? Thank you. Yeah, there he should... No. Those... Great Repair... Wielding enemies should spawn also here. Be very of behind. Oh yeah, thank you. Try behind. Oh, I see. Yeah, the bleed is really strong on these guys. Smithing stone eight. Three times, actually. Yeah, that's really good. And more. And that's all for my little print. Glow worth level 9. And with this, we can just go for it. And that's the area. I'm sure you will be more than glad to rest the ear after that dark tunnel. Gorgeous view ahead. Well, aside from not being able to see anything. Yeah, and yeah, that's the temple and that's the... Well, answers through spirit area. Should I call it like that? Uh, so... Uh... I hope those aren't items. Or are they? Well, there is definitely something. Oh, we didn't have to do that. Alright. And here. This is quite tricky. You can't summon your spirit here. Also, this um, elevator leads to Gothmog. Oh, wait. That's not a Gothmog. Pardon me, Mog. And uh, what you want to do here is... Well, pretty much you can sneak around. Check if there are any items. Which I'm going to do right now. Since I'm not sure, yeah, that is an item. Golden Rune 13, which is what? Yeah, can you all come here?
Yeah, they have some kind of a problem with me, but we don't really care about that. We just want to rush in, open this chest, and there you will receive a really great item. Oh, no thanks. Which is, as you can see, somber ancient dragon som sombering stone. Quite long name. And with this, you can reach Mog and his temple. Yeah, and uh, let me check something real quick. And I can't. So, uh, I'm going to do it differently. Since a lot of, from what I have seen, a lot of people wanted to see the cutscene, so I won't fight him right now. Although I could try it, I have plus 20 weapon, which I believe is not that bad. But I do not want to fight him right now since I'm not sure if I can win and even if I was able to win I would like to leave that for another video and it's not enough so will this be enough now yeah, it is enough so with this I would like to grab some endurance I guess are quite low endurance. Here you can see my stats. I'm preparing for millennia uh, weapon which requires 48 dexterity. But I'm sure it will be worth and that's what I would like to achieve. Be the, this boss with that weapon. With a specific buff for my weapon. Since Hand of Millennia, that's weapon I would like to get, I think has a build up, blood build up of 50. It's very good. Anyway, enjoy the cutscene. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored the guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. And yeah, thank you for watching. And Please, if you like the video, like and subscribe, and have a nice day.